I love the point that you made where you said that breakfast is the made up construct and it goes perfectly with uh, this book that I'll maybe recommend as the recommendation of the week this week called The Mastery of Self. And what it essentially, it doesn't really go into, you know, food per se, but it goes into this concept of domestication and how through generations, what, what foul constructs that, or concept, I should say, that are passed down from generation to generation, we domesticate, you know, our offsprings with these same bad habits. And so I remember when I was younger, I hated breakfast like just eating in the morning didn't make the most sense to me. And then, so I look at my son and he's the exact same way. And he is just not someone that really enjoys eating breakfast. And so I have to constantly, you know, check myself and remind myself that I can't domesticate him the same way that maybe my parents tried to domesticate me, where it's like, oh, if you don't eat, then, you know, you're gonna have an attitude. Or if you don't eat, you're not gonna have the energy to get through the day. Whereas just maybe it's not time, you know, for me to eat like my body clock hasn't I haven't I haven't hit that point in the day to where my body is saying feed me and I've and I love the fact that you said that because we we have we've been domesticated to the point to where we think these things are natural per se and there's nothing natural about it 